It's a lyrical baby. We can have it on these pop drums How we gonna stop them Every day is the same thing yeah. All these unsolved issues I guess it's official Here we go again The same boy thing And I'm telling me Are you winning? I can So goodbye Good morning everybody It's your girl Miracle Sims And you're listening to God, sex, and love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is June the 13th, 2024, and today the topic is curiosity. Happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you guys had a wonderful Wednesday. Mine was just fine. Yes, mine was good overall. Technically, it was a quote-unquote do-nothing day for me because I didn't have anything of significance to do per se um but it got filled with a few tasks um first i started off my day with kind of like thinking about future stuff i know <laughs> but um you know i want to get on i want to get better about you know some different things or whatever so i was thinking about what that's going to look like things like that and so um i started off with that then i ended up signing up for a um it was like a training for being a learning coach because you go, you guys know, uh, my son is going to be take, going to school, but we're doing it virtually, uh, which is a virtual public school. So I didn't know if you guys know about that or if you need that information, but by all means, the one he's going to go to is called Connections Academy. So um, I was surprised to find that out. No tuition, all that type of stuff. So I'm like, hey, the God be the glory. This might be it. <laughs> um, so we signed him up. And so he's in um, and I'm going to be a lo- learning coach, maybe and my husband or whatever. And so. Um, I took a learning coach, like intro thing yesterday. They had like a, uh, training or whatever yesterday. So I did that. And then, um, I ain't gonna lie, man. After I did it, I was like, Ooh, am I making the right decision? <laughs> Not because like, I don't think I can do it or something. It's just that I started thinking about like stuff that I'm used to, right? Stuff that I'm used to seeing and doing, right? The way I grew up, right? First day of school, school pictures, you know, stuff like that to where it's like, hmm. Yeah, granted, I can still do that type of stuff with him um, and still keep up with, like, because I, I did it when he was born. I, you know, kept up every month and took a photo of him every month when he was born, stuff like that. So I could do that, you know what I'm saying? And we could set up a school picture or something like that. So it's not that big of a deal. But on one hand, it's like, it's very different from what I experienced, you know what I mean? So it's like, ooh, you know, Lord, I'm going to make the right decision here. But um, I still feel good about it and everything like that. And actually, this kind of coincides with today's conversation. So that's what I'm telling y'all. So anyways, I'm asking questions about that, right? And so then, um, and outside of that, the only other thing of significance is that, you know, one of my previous uh, book clients um, reached out to me because she wants to do another book um she also wants to refer me to someone and whatnot i'm like yeah keep on hey i, I still help people <laughs> i help people however i can so um so we had that conversation yesterday and those were the main things of significance um or order pasta because i was like i was gonna make it but then i'm like you know how you go in your kitchen and you'd be like i want to do this and then you're like i got pasta no sauce <laughs> you know i got ham no burger <laughs> no um yeah so it was kind of like that i mean i have all these random stuff in the kitchen and stuff but it, you know how you want something you know what i mean you want what you want and i think that's the i don't know maybe me and my family are just so used to that so even like when i talk to my husband i'm like hey what you got a taste for he started thinking about things we don't got and that's like okay well <laughs> i guess we're gonna get burgers or whatever you know um but yeah i wanted some some alfredo so i got some alfredo for the family yesterday but i was happy about it and um that that's the main stuff of significance but why am i sharing all this with you guys well one um this idea of curiosity i think you guys know that i've been telling you guys over the past few days that i've been very curious about what life is going to look like man like once NJ gets into the school and stuff like that, like, or once it gets started, because he's already in. So, like, and then, I, you know, curiosity about me and my work life, right? Like, I, I totally enjoy my job at the church. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. But y'all know I've been on here back and forth about, do I need to add on to that? Do I need to, you know what I'm saying? You know, doing that whole thing. And then, you know, um, on one hand, desiring to be full-time, but then on the other hand, saying, hmm, <laughs> You know, my son's about to be in school. I'm about to be a learning coach. I don't know. Like, 
So everything is so up in the air, right? And I've been telling you guys, on one hand, I've been totally at peace with that, right? I'm at peace with whatever the Lord wants to do. Um, so that's the thing that's different <laughs> um, compared to Miracle Years Ago, right? But um, that doesn't stop the curiosity, right? And I think, um, well, ultimately, all I can say is, so I'm thinking about all these different type of things this morning. Um, I found this... Uh, like home school school community or whatever so i was thinking about that and then that's when nj got up and stuff and i'm having that conversation with him and um you know on one hand i'm like this seems like it's gonna be a great thing and then i'm like hmm this seems like it, let's see what their work life is like and stuff like that so i um they do got part-time positions at the place that i'm looking at and i'm like lord are you are you saying are you saying to go over here <laughs> part-time part-time um but anyway um <laughs> but as i embark on this this journey of curiosity right um I, at some point i'm like okay kid look this is what we're about to do today you know today's thursday i gotta work da, 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 da. so you know i need you to go take care of the dog i'm gonna go do the juice i had no juice right i had no topic <laughs> but i was like you you gonna do that i'm gonna do the juice we gonna go get ready then we gotta go um and i'm like you know, center, I slightly was about to think, like, well, what, Lord, what you want to talk about? But then I'm like, I'm just going to do what he had me been doing. So I just pulled my, got my juice journal, got my pen, I started writing down the regular stuff, you know, wrote down, like, what the, um, you know, again, season 13, episode 37, I wrote down the date, and I'm like, okay, Lord, <laughs> what's the topic? And, and the phrase, and this will be, I'm not trying to poke fun, <laughs> but, um, my coworker came into my mind and he, okay, so he's from Africa, right? And, um, I, was, I guess he hasn't been here a few years and stuff like that, but he still has the accent and, and stuff like that. And so when we met, I noticed he says the phrase, um, when he, when he's talking about like, I guess putting stuff together and stuff like that, he says the phrase like, how that's, how that's going to look like, but how that's going to look like, that's how he says it. And I mean, I think, you know, obviously we would say it like, uh, what is that going to look like? Things like that. So that, but, uh, it always made me chuckle when he'd be like, how that going to look like? <laughs> but anyway, so when I <laughs> so when I did my thing this morning, I wrote down the date and did all that. How that going to look like came into my mind. I'm like, oh, Lord. And then I'm like, well, what does this mean? What does this mean? <laughs> and so, um, so then I'm like, what is something going to look like? You know, I'm trying to like figure out what the Lord was saying. And then the word curiosity came into my heart and mind. And I'm like okay you know and so i looked that up and then obviously the verses was resonating with me this morning so i mean is anybody else in a curious place man you don't know what things are gonna look like look you don't know how it's gonna look like you know what i'm saying <laughs> um i get it I, I totally um have been there before and um, i'm here in this place now again the difference between before right during the cultivation period <laughs> is that i you know i told you guys on numerous times about that time where when i was you know, curious, and I was confused, and I'm like, Lord, what is things gonna look like? What is my, where's my husband? Can you let me in on anything? I, you know, I, I told y'all, I'm being, I, I was yelling up at, <laughs> I was in my apartment, yelling at God, looking at the roof of my apartment, and, and being like, what is life gonna look like? Can you let me in? <laughs> ah, you know, frustrated, right? But today, right, I'm sitting here telling you guys all these different things that I have no clue how it's going to look like. But I am not yelling at the Lord about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even worried about it. I'm just, I'm curious. I'm still curious, but I'm still like, oh, well. <laughs> I get, like, I guess I'm talking about, like, yesterday, going with God's flow, right? Not just going with the flow, but going with God's flow. And so, with that being said, looking into curiosity this morning... Um, obviously I did come across the definition and then when I went and plugged it in at openbible.info, um, I wrote down the verses that were standing out to me. So let's get into it, y'all. Curiosity, curiosity, my little things, they're all like, they're all like switched around because sometimes when I click it, it moves it and stuff. So I'm over here looking for, yeah, okay. Openbible.info, there it is. <laughs> Plug in curiosity and, um, the verses that were standing out to me. I would share it in one moment. Let's talk about this definition. It says, a strong desire to know or learn something. Yes, a strong desire to know or learn something. I think all of us <laughs> um, are curious at one point or at some point in our lives, right? Um, whether we're curious about, you know, just the things we're being taught. Um, you know, <laughs> if we're just curious about life itself, or maybe we're curious about, you know, getting things of God. Maybe we're curious about just... Again, what's going to happen today or tomorrow, whatever the case may be. 
Um, some people are so curious that they tap into all kinds of things, right? We know that there's mediums, right? We know that there's people that, you know, I guess read your tea leaves and your palm print and all kind of things out there because people are curious, um, especially about the future and things of that nature. Um, well, on one hand, I, I guess I'm here to say today, you know, we ain't got to tap into all of that type of stuff. At the end of the day, I mean, if we're curious about the future, according to the Bible, it tells us what is to come, you know? Um, so that's one thing, but. I get it that sometimes we can be very, very curious about our individual life and situation and things of that nature. And so, um, here's some verses that were standing out to me when I plugged it in at openbible.info, that word curiosity. Um, first thing that stood out was Proverbs 25, 2 through 3. It says, it is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings to search things out as the heavens for height and the earth for depth. So the heart of kings is unsearchable. So, I mean, if you're curious, it seems to me by reading this verse today that, you know, that's probably a good thing. Now, again, um, it's best for us to go to the source, right, to get the answer um, and things of that nature. But um, there's nothing wrong with being curious, right? I, I say here all the time, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. Um, Y'all know that I've been you know, using that app. I've been telling you guys about uh, chatholybible.com. <laughs> and, um... I've been asking all kinds of questions, and it's so funny because I felt like yesterday it got a little jazzy with me because <laughs> I was asking about dinosaurs, and then it was like, you know, it's it's good to you know ask, you know, it's good to you know be curious about you know dinosaurs and things of that nature, but it's more important to you know uh, be curious about the will of God and da 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 da, and t- to know Him and stuff like that. And I said, I mean, but it's not. Seeking about God and his creation, also a way to get to know him. Chatholybible.com, don't you come for me. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, curiosity, man. Like, it's, it's good to be curious, right? It's good to ask questions. It's good to not just go with, you know, whatever, whatever somebody else say um, to you and things of that nature. Um, again, I know a lot of people question the Bible, things like that. Um because of the same reason. It's like, I'm not just going to listen to what the pastor say. I'm not just going to listen to what you talking about on here, Miracle X, Y, and Z. And hey, I implore you. You know what I mean? Don't just do that. You know what I'm saying? I can sit here and be reading stuff wrong to you, right? So go and read. I, that's why I'm sitting here sharing the verses and stuff like that. So you can go read it for yourself. You know what I mean? Go do your own study. Look, study to show yourself approved. Things of that nature. Um, And I get it, man. You know, again, like this... It's like the what we see and experience versus the what we're taught versus the what the Bible say. Like, there's all these things out here that it's just like, what's the truth, right? Um, I, I'm sure I didn't ask that app over and over and over again. Like, is there any possible chance that the Bible's not true? <laughs> uh, things of that nature. And obviously, it gives us profound responses and stuff. But still, um, I get it. You know, we can all be curious and wonder and worry. Um but um, let's keep talking about some verses that hopefully will encourage us and inspire us here. Um, so, again, it's telling us that the glory of God is to conceal things, but it is the glory of kings to search them out. So go ahead, search it out, and look, look be a king, you know. Um, Acts 1 and 7, it says, He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. Mm, that might be Pope. That might be Pope for those of us that really, really want to know things. Um, again, like I said, back in the day, I, look, that was the main court. Lord, where's my husband? Lord, when he's coming? Lord, da da da. You giving me these visions and all this type of stuff about, you know, life and stuff. But then, you know, I don't see it nowhere around me. Lord, let me know right now. <laughs> um, that was your girl, you know. Um, and hey, I'm in this place of curiosity right now. Lord, what this about to look? How this gonna look like <laughs> for my son <laughs> to be doing virtual school? Lord, you know, am I gonna be in this part time job forever? Lord, you know what I mean? Like it's all these different type of questions um, and stuff. And look, my husband is probably asking all kind of questions right now too. Lord, Lord you know, I, I'm not doing the warehouse job. I want to get into software development. There's no things open up for me. You know, how that's going to look like? <laughs> how is life going to look? Um, and it's just all these different things, right? Then we all can have these questions of curiosity. But, um, again, I think it's important for us to remember who's in charge here, right? 
Um, it's saying like some things is above our pay grades, basically, you know, some things that ain't for us to know. Um, uh, we can sit here and be wondering all day, when is the rapture going to happen? Like all this different type of stuff. Right. And it's not our business. Right. Um, uh, matter of fact, there was a verse I came across and I did not write it down or maybe I should have, but it was talking about, um, it was Jesus talking to, I think one of the disciples and he was asking, um, one of the disciples was asking him like, what about this guy over here? Like what, what's going to happen with this guy? And basically Jesus was like, man, I sure wrote this verse down. My bad y'all. But, um, basically Jesus was like, that ain't none of your business. Follow me. <laughs> and that's real. Like a lot of times, again, we're trying to find out things or trying to be part of something that is not like our business. It's not like what we should be focused on. You know, maybe again, chatholybible.com was right when it's telling me, Hey, miracle is probably not the most important thing to sit here and be wor worried about dinosaurs and stuff like that. Like sometimes we make our curiosities or our whatever it is that we enjoy, we make it our life. Like we make that our personality and, and things of that nature when, you know, in our identity, right? When God has already made that and stuff like that. So again, just understanding that some things that are above our pedigree right now, there's some things that might not be as important and things of that nature. It might not be the time or the season for us to know certain things. And so, um, and that's okay. Can we be okay with that? I mean, that's the question that we have to ask ourselves. Um, but, or can we learn to be okay with that? I think we can learn to be okay with it, even if we are not. Um, uh, Proverbs 27 and 20 says, Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied and never satisfied are the eyes of man. Listen, man, I couldn't help but talk, uh, think about like the, I guess the rich people of this world and how they keep, you know, they get all, they got all the money in the world and they just keep going and going and going because they don't want, they, they're not satisfied, right? Um, you know, sex fiends, drugs, whatever the case may be, fill in the blank with whatever it is, um, outside of the Lord, right? We'll never be satisfied. Um, we can get all the things. Like I said, hey, the cultivation period, all I wanted was the husband and the marriage, right? And then still, some ways, I'm not satisfied, right? Um, I have that now, and it's like, ooh, now I got to deal with, you know, this individual. <laughs> and, you know, you know, there's all the things that I'm still not satisfied. And so we're, we're like that. Humans, I guess, will never be satisfied according to this here. Um, so does, our, does it, not say does it help to have curiosity, because we, we established before, being curious ain't nothing wrong with that. But some things, again, it's just like, is it worth it? Matter of fact, um, there was something yesterday that, again, it's just so ironic to me how everything always come together. But So there was this moment yesterday where, um, uh, without getting too, too deep into too details, I would just say I knew something um, without knowing it officially, but I knew something. Um, and yesterday I went ahead and um, got the confirmation of that thing. And But did it help me to get the confirmation of the thing? Meh. like it didn't change anything you know what i'm saying like it it I, one i already knew that you know whatever took place had took place um so i didn't necessarily need confirmation but um you know i just took the the chance to go ahead and look into it and and then i got confirmation and and nothing changed within you know what i'm saying there was nothing that was like i knew it or there was nothing that was like okay you know, and sometimes that's what it's like, right? We we search and keep going for things, right? And I need to know or whatever the case may be. And then later on, we find out that it, we're not satisfied, right? We're not, that it does nothing to, to do and have whatever it is. So these are just things to think about, friends. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, rain on nobody's parade. At the end of the day, again, yes, be curious, but be curious about the right things. And I guess that's ultimately the juice. Um, you guys can go deeper. There's not any verses in the go deeper session this morning, but um, I put a reflective uh, journaling prompt. And that is, how can I use my curiosity to explore God's character and plans for me? So um, you guys can take the time to do that and answer that question for yourself. And yeah, like I said, that is ultimately the juice. Now, the Bible verse of today is Mark 6, 31 and 32. It says, and he said unto them, come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. And for there, or excuse me, for there were many coming and going and had no leisure so much as to eat, so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. 
Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. <laughs> if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there. Check out the options. Consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show. But we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.